Yo, what's going on, Sexy Samalander Squad? I just want to go ahead and give you guys a huge shout out. Thank you so much to the 24 hour stream. You guys blew me away with all the support. I want to give a special shout out to a first world problem, Dillcat, Spain, and of course, Iris the Baron. Um, you guys absolutely killed it with everything and made this stream the most fun that I could ever imagine. Um, so thank you guys so much. Now, for something super special, um, I have a build given to me by none other than Deathwalker and Adapting. And this is their video idea. So shout out to Deathwalker and Adapting, obviously. They told me that I should go for a video idea where I try to get 2,000 power, which I didn't even know was possible, but... According to them, with a 500 pot, a 3,000 power elixir, red buff, and the third quadrant of your two, which gives you 25% more magical power. Um, with, with Bancroft's and low HP, apparently it's possible with Doom Orb stacks <laughs> to get all the way up to 2,100 power. So everything has to line up, but if it lines up... I am sitting at 2100 power. I'm going to go ahead and med here because uh, he used his beads, so I'm okay with medding. So, yeah, if everything lines up perfectly, we get the hyper late game. We get. Uh, don't hit me, don't hit me. Oh, don't hit me. Uh, we get the hyper late game and we get the quadrant uh, switch while being low HP. No, everything works out to, to equal 2,000 power, which is absurd. I'm getting absolutely clapped. Thank you, Red Buff Soul. Early game Soul. Kind of expected, to be honest with you. We don't expect that amount of damage from early game Soul. It's because you're playing the game wrong. And let me just go ahead and check. When I activate this, it does actually change my magical power number, which is good because that's what I was worried about, it not changing. So that I would have to do the calculations myself, which would be awkward because I'm dumb, so... Good news, human error out of the way. Now we can do it. I'm going to wait for this tier two because it's actually a huge increase in power. It more than doubles for only 700 gold. So definitely doing that. He got red buff. He got a wave under tower. Thankfully, it's the brutal minion wave. So, um, so I only lost one minion worth of XP, which is great. Is great. He is very far ahead in XP just in general because of the fact... And he got the red buff, and he got his blue buff, and he probably got the XP camp, so he's a little bit ahead. But that's okay. That's okay. In fact, I'm actually going to see if he did do the XP camp, because if he didn't, if I get two or three of these, maybe it will make up for the fact that he has an extra buff over on me. We'll see, though. I'm going to run out this way. If I have to alt, I have to alt. It's fine. I just want to make sure that I'm not getting absolutely dookie cheek. Good damage on my part. Nice stun. Uh, his two is going to clear. He is red buffed. He's red buffed up the wazoo right now. So obviously whatever he does is going to frag me up. That's expected though. You know, when you're a little bit behind, it's expected. All right. The build, by the way, the build, I'll, I'll go ahead and let you know. Uh, it is Boomba's spear. Sorry. I'm tabbing out to, to make sure. Boomba's spear, book of thoth, warlock staff, Bancroft's typhons, Doom Orb and Polynomicon. You get all those items plus a 500 pot, a 3000 pot, and a red buff, and your third quadrant, and also low HP uh, after killing a minion wave. And you can have 2000 power. It seems like a lot, okay? Trust me, I know. When I say it out loud, the more I say it, the more I'm like, that seems impossible. But we've done the impossible before. We've made the impossible possible on this channel. You know? So, I think... I think if... If we get to that late game mark where I can actually get uh, a 3,000 pot, that's the, I think that's the hardest thing to do out of this whole challenge is make it to hyper late game where I have Boomba's Spear and a 3k pot without him surrendering. If I can do that, then I can get 2,000 power. Uh, 
Um, he really wants red buff. Away from me. My dad said no. My dad said no. Oh my god, that did 300 damage to me. Good thing I'm sexy as shit. You can't hurt me. I'm hot. Everyone knows hot people don't don't take damage. Beauty is pain, but only to ugly people. You know what I mean? <laughs> Oh god, that's funny. Why are you? Get away from me. Oh, good son. I ult these. That was great. That was huge. This is mine 100% of the time. You take those. Get away from me again because you'll kill me with that. Oh, okay, he missed and I hit. He does a ring of Hecate, so he's going to be... He's gonna be healing a little bit more than me because I have no life steal, and I especially won't have any life steal because I'm also going warlock staff after this. So, um, let's get his beads here. Never mind, I missed. Okay, we got his alt though, and he completely missed his alt. So I'm gonna come pick up the red buff. I'm gonna meditate because I'm a monk. Uh, where are you? Okay, we're chilling. With red buff, my three still doesn't clear wave. He's obviously just auto attacking so he can get his health back, his ring of Hecate. I have to start going my warlock staff soon. The stacking that is going to be a pain in the ass. But that's okay. I got I I, I got myself back in the game. We're ahead in XP. Not necessarily ahead in gold. In fact, we're behind in gold by a hundred, but that's only because we missed uh a wave to the tower. When I got pressured out really early game. But again, I mean, Soul's early game is just incredibly impressive. It's very hard to, to hold your ground against that. I'm actually going to go a Chalice. Because I think it's going, like, well, I don't think. I know it's going to be an extremely long game if I can actually get this build up and running. So, after Warlocks, we go Bancrofts. After Bancrofts, we go Typhons. And after Typhons, we go Polynomicon. Wait a second. That, wait, is that too many items? Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, no. So the the it's either Doom Orb or Polynomicon. I think I will go Doom Orb because Doom Orb, Doom Orb has more power on it. And obviously that's going to help me a bit more. Okay. Get away from me. Uh, Boomba's Spear... When any of these die, you gain a 10% power buff for 30 seconds. Okay, so I have to clear a buff, and then clear a wave, and then almost die. That's my goal. Clear a buff, clear a wave, and then almost die. It's a weird goal, but it's my goal. <laughs> Alright, you hit all your auto attacks, and it's kind of scaring me, so I'm going to go ahead and ult. I'm going to stun you. You're going to ult. I'm going to run away. You're going to miss your ult, and now I'm going to punch you in the head. Okay, you lived. It's fine. No big deal. I am going to go over here. I'm going to pop my med and my two so I get a lot of healing back. Um, so that I can try to get this red buff. I don't think he's here. We definitely take those. We definitely take those. We definitely take those. Warlock staff is coming up. Just making sure I'm getting my last hits because I need to stack. Obviously, stacking takes forever when you're double stacking, especially when you go Warlock Staff. Second item. Uh, second Relic. I might go Frenzy. Frenzy gives you 10% power, right? I don't think we 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 Relic'd it up. It does give you... No, it just gives you 10% damage. Oh! But Bracer gives you 10% power. Now, don't get me wrong. It's a completely useless Relic. But it does give me 10% power. And it only gives me 10% power if I'm over 50% heal. Or 50% health. But that does kind of take away the RNG needed for Bancrofts. So I could do I could use Bracer of Radiance rather than needing to get the passive of Bancrofts. I still obviously need the normal. Ouch. The normal um 
power of Bancroft, but holy shit. <laughs> Dude, with Book of Thoth or Warlock staff, my one already hits for over 400. What the heck? What's up, bitch boy? Oh, big damage, big damage. Let's go. Huge kill. Insane kill. Crazy, 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 crazy. I can't really do anything off of that, unfortunately, because, well, he's not dead long enough. I could maybe take tower, but I don't really want to. What the hell? Why are these taken? All right, next item, Bancrofts. After Bancrofts, Typhons. Um, I will go Brace of Radiance. Let me just make sure. So right now, with Red Buff, I do this and this. I have 657 power. I'm already at 657 power, and I only have two and a half items. So it is looking plausible to get to 2,000, which I, I, I honestly didn't think was possible. I do an absolute shit ton of damage per auto attack. Okay, so do you though, apparently. Oh, 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 oh. Boom! Huge nuke. Huge nuke of damage. Again, I'm not going to get uh, the tower because I want him not to surrender. I'm going to go Bancroft's here. I have finished it. I don't have red buff, so I'm not getting that extra power right now, but... Holy shit, Bracer of Radiance lasts a long time. <laughs> what the hell? I already have 650 power again without red buff this time, so... And don't forget, by the way, the more power I have, the more power I get per, um, you know, Bracer of Radiance, per 3k pot. Power just... Hopefully. Oh, okay. But yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm excited for this, dude. I've never done something like this. Like, I've gotten a thousand power, sure, but like, that's nothing. That's, that's... Like, to get a thousand power, all you need is like a normal build and a 3k pot. And you're like, oh, wow, a thousand power. That was cool. Two thousand power? <laughs> that takes some planning, man. That takes some planning. Holy shit. I want to see if I can one-shot a buff. So I'm going to Brace of Radiance here. With my two down. Giving me 775 power. Okay. My one did 1100 damage. What the heck, dude? What the fuck? 1100 damage with, with just my one. Granted, I'm doing an extra, like, 30% damage to buffs. Oh, he beats. Okay. You take those. You don't want to fight me. Trust me. I know martial arts. Okay, watch this. Watch this. Boom. Another 1,100 power. Auto attack. Auto attack. Auto attack. One. Dude, the one with no procs does 500. You need to get some defense on. Oh, he's going Stone of Foul. Why don't people go Stone of Foul anymore? Actually, I forgot that item existed. If you upgrade this, does it give you more power? Oh, it does. Upgrades it to 15% power instead of... Instead of, uh... 10%. All right. I'm excited for this, dude. I have 722 power without red buff or bracer. That's so I with red buff and bracer I get 40% more power because red buff's 25 and bracer's 15 if I upgrade it. So I'm already over a thousand power. If I just got those two things. Which I want to get. Obviously. Um can I... Okay, Stone of Foul. Working its wonders. I am doing so much damage to him. Like, actually. I've hit him with my one three times and he's actually almost dead. Ow. Oh, you are so lucky. 
you are actually so lucky. <clears throat> okay, we'll do this and this. We have 918 power, casually. Good old casual 918 power. And now I'll go get um, my Typhons, which is going to give me a shit ton more power. All right. Grab this. All right, 806 power. I'm going to go back to my Bracer Radiance because it is in the middle of the lane. 974. And that will definitely upgrade me more. Well, I got to wait for my two to come back up, actually. I am such a dingus. I do 300 damage in auto, huh? All right. That's sick. What? Okay. Oh, you're talking to Op. <laughs> oh, let's go, dude. Let's go. A thousand power broken. A thousand power broken. I need... The 3k pot. I have I have no 500 pot, so I only have the red buff right now. But with the 3k pot, what is something? Uh, 3k pot, 500 pot. Oh, I need to clear a wave so I get more power from Doom Orb, and I have to be maybe slightly low HP because of Bancroft. Okay. It's doable. It's doable. Go grab tier one uh, Doom Orb. And I'll upgrade this. Why not? Plop it down. 1100 power already, baby. 1100. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm so excited. <laughs> yeah. I miss. I wonder how much my stun will do. Let's check. Okay, my stun did 308. But he beads the first half of it. So my my stun itself would have done 600 damage. If you get... Dude, if you get stunned by a Kronos and it does 600 damage, you should probably just leave the... There's no way. There's no way. Oh. So. Get the stun. I missed the one. Oh no, I hit the one actually. Yeah, you don't scare me. I, the reason I am trying to like kind of be slightly abusive right now is because uh, red buff is coming up and I really don't want him to think he can take it from me. He's going to ult. We ageist. Okay. Fine. Okay, good news is with how much power I have, there is no way he can get it from me because I one hit it. Ouch. You better, better back the fuck up, dog. Boom, pow, auto, auto, auto. Okay, ouch. Okay, <laughs> interesting. I'm gonna go Boomba Spear here. I think Boomba Spear might give me a, a better initial power spike than, um,. Better initial power spike than Doom War. Because that gives me 105 power. Right now, it only gives me 12. So, that, I mean, that's that's just better, right? Straight out the gate. And I get a 10% power buff when I do a buff. Precisely or any jungle boss. Does jungle boss include Bull Demon? Basic attacks deal 50, 50 true damage. And abilities deal 35% more damage to jungle camps, structures, and jungle bosses. If any of those die, you gain a 10% power buff. So I'm assuming it does work on Bull Demon. It also works on Tower. Do you have blue buff on? I was not paying attention. Ouch. Okay, watch this. I now have a 30% power buff. I'm sorry, a 10% power buff. I'm an idiot. Oh my god, my one just hit him for 700. I do this. I do this. I take some damage. I'm at 1400 power already. Okay. 
So I got to 1400 power without Doom Orb or the 3k pot or the 500 pot. Which means I'm pretty sure it's actually doable. I, I had my doubts, obviously. But, you know. <laughs> that feels real good. <laughs> I literally have 1200 power. Just with my bracer and my... Uh, just with my bracer and my buff. My, or not my red buff, but my uh, my jungle spear buff. Oh, man. Thousand power? Are you kidding me? Dark forces propel me forward. There's no escaping the master. I hold the <laughs> secrets of life and death. <laughs> Sorry, she was she was cracking up because she said she found a great gift for me. And and she is she is losing her mind over next to me. I missed. Okay, my stun does 1,400 damage to red buff. Oh my god, I have I have almost 1,500 power. Two damage to me. Yeah, I, I have 1,500 power. Okay. Okay, I have 1,500 power with no 3k pot. With no finished doom orb. And with no uh, 500 pot either. And I don't know. I don't think Bull Demon gives you any power in duel. I'm pretty sure it doesn't. But I'm gonna get it anyways, just in case it does. I'm I'm pretty sure it doesn't, but I don't want to be wrong. And fuck it up, you know what I mean? Okay, three autos and a one basically killed him. I'm just going to clear the wave here. I'm not going to do anything wild. Probably could have dove and, and gotten the kill, but if I kill them, then maybe he'll surrender, and we definitely don't want that. Okay. My build is complete. With just the build and no consumables, I'm at exactly 1,500 power with, with an extra four, but, you know. I'm at 1,500 power with just the build. The consumables itself... Uh, I believe this adds 25% power. This gives, So this gives me 70 power, and this adds 25% more. So I would be at 1570. 25% of 1570 is not 2,000. Okay, I do 400 damage in auto, casually. But that was without the jungle, the, the jungle thing too, right? This is what I was at 15, so I would get an extra 10%, which is another 150. Put me at 1650 plus 25%. I think that actually gets me there. I think that actually gets me there. Right now, I'm just farming for a 3k pot. That's all I'm doing. I'm going to act like I'm fighting, right? But then he's going to beat me up. Ooh, ow, ha, huh? nice, nice autos. And then I'm going to run away. I'm going to get Bull Demon on his tower so that maybe he thinks that I'm an idiot. Okay, I do 600 damage per auto to Bull Demon. That's not okay. Um, I picked up blue buff like a moron. So I actually have to wait to get red buff. Which also means I have to defend red buff. I can't let him have it. Oh my god, another another one shot scenario. He sold. What did he sell? Oh, he sold the starter item. Go rod, I guess. Um Alright, I have half of the gold I need for 3k pot. Not necessarily Oh, well, actually I have half of the gold I need for both my potions. This is going to be so sick. I mean, I think I've already broke the record of the most amount of power I've ever had before. Just at 1,500. Ow. 
All right, beads down. Mm. I want to get the. I just want to get the wave, dude. Don't make me kill you, please. I don't want to. I will. I will kill you. Look, if I need to, I will. I'm gonna throw my one, and I'm gonna miss on purpose, just so he knows how lucky he is. Do it again. Throw my three. Away from me. Look, dude. You don't want a piece of this. Trust me. Trust me. Right now, this is a this is a death walker and an adapting build. If there's two people on the world you don't want collaborating in a build against you, it's adapting and death walker. So I would stay away. <laughs> Okay, so I have 1,500 power without um, the thing now. I have 1,650. Okay, so I was actually exactly correct. I'll have 1,650 power with my bracer down. <clears throat> okay. Um, I just need a little bit more gold. So I can buy my two potions and then I can run over there and, and see if I, if I actually hit the power mark. Yeah. I'm going to get the minis here. I don't want the big boy, just the minis for the gold. Okay. I should have enough. For the 3k pot, the 500 pot, the red buff, the bracer, and the jungle spear all activated during my two. So this is it, baby. This is it. This is it. All or nothing. Here we go. Let's go! 2007 power, baby! <laughs> I've never seen it before! I've never seen it. 2000. What the fuck? All right, let's hit this Phoenix. Oh, I just four hit the Phoenix. I four hit the Phoenix without backdoor protections. My one does 1200 damage. What the fuck is happening, bro? What the fuck? I have 2084 power. Oh my god. Oh Jesus, that did 900 damage. My one did 900 damage. It did 900 damage again. Oh my god, dude. And I'm healing so much too because of how much damage I'm doing with my lifesteal. Oh god, please. The stun. The one, the one, the one. No. <laughs> This is amazing. I'm having a great time. <laughs> oh my god, dude. I don't even have red buff anymore, and I'm still doing this amount of damage. Holy shit. No, please. One auto. There we go. All right. GG, boys. What an incredible game. Again, I want to give a shout out to all the supporters during the 24 hour stream, but especially to Spain, Dill Cat, A First World Problem, and uh, High Res The Baron. As well as I want to give a shout out to Adapting and Deathwalker for the build and actually breaking the 2000 power mark. Really, really, really fun video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, guys, peace.